Hi friends, welcome to all. In the last lecture, what we have done is, we have seen this very famous formula. <coughs> A equal to P plus minus Z plus, isn't it? Where this plus plus indicates, these are the poles or zeros will be in RH of S plane. Okay. These poles indicates the open loop poles in the RH plane. This Z indicates closed loop poles in RH plane. Okay. So, let's come today. We'll discuss about the Nike stability criteria. Stability criteria means when the system will be stable. Okay. The number of encirclement, the statement according to this is, the number of encirclement about the circle point that is minus 1 plus j0. This is our reference point. And why this is reference point? Because as you know, we are dealing with the characteristic equation for the stability. Isn't it? And the characteristic equation is nothing but minus 1 plus j0. So now our plane is we are considering gh that is open loop transfer function. So the reference point for this is minus 1 plus j0. Okay. So the number of encirclements about the circle point minus 1 plus j0 must be equal to poles of characteristic equation which are nothing but the number of open loop transfer function poles in the right of S plane, isn't it? Poles of characteristic equation. Indirectly, uh, we already set at this relationship that these are nothing but the open loop poles in the right of S plane. Okay. So, the formula, again, very famous formula, that is, P plus minus Z plus. Okay, listen carefully. This is the formula in which many students have confusion that what is this P plus, what is this Z plus. So, what is the, you know, wet? This P plus is nothing but again I am telling you the open loop poles. These are nothing but closed loop poles. Both are poles only. One is open loop poles, one is closed loop poles. And these two are in RH of S plane. Okay, any problem? <coughs> so, inside of it, what is this Z? Inside of it, what is this? You already set the relation, isn't it? And this was the relation. Poles of Characteristic equation is nothing but the poles of open loop transfer function. So, in our formula, this P is nothing but encirclement point, uh, this P plus is nothing but what we are looking for, we are looking for the poles of open loop transfer function in the RH plane because you have the open loop transfer function in your hand, but inside this is nothing but the poles of characteristic equation in the RH plane. And Z plus is nothing but the closed loop poles of the the closed loop poles in the RH of S plane. But inside of this, these are nothing but the zeros of characteristic equation. Okay. Now we'll draw the Nike's plot for a given system. So everything will be crystal clear to you. Okay. Now my method is little bit different from the textbook. So watch it carefully. Uh, the question I'm checking. Over here is S S plus one, okay. And the uh, constant it we we have to draw the Nike's plot, okay. As I told you, Nike's plot in terms of plot only is the double of polar plot, isn't it? Double of polar plot. N P equal to two P P. Okay, this is just for fun, okay. Actually, <coughs> what is the condition? The, the first point is, you will find out magnitude and phase. Then you will find out magnitude at 0 plus, 
and zero minus here entire frequency float I need infinity plus and infinity minus and all these things but here we will not do this four things we will do only two things means for this question you have to draw the polar plot only what is the condition do, draw the polar plot I'm saying you just draw the polar plot only nothing else this is the question you have to draw the polar plot and how the Nikes plot will work or come I'll tell you okay so now I'm checking this over here 1 divided by s s plus 1 so directly I can draw the polar plot so this is uh, you know very well for the s plus 1 directly this is the plot but we are adding one pole at origin entire entire you know plot will be shifted by minus 90 so it will be kind of like this isn't it the direction of this is this this is the polar plot of this if you have doubt you can draw it from omega equal to 0 so omega equal to infinity now for the Nyquist plot we are looking for the Nyquist plot isn't it so for the Nyquist plot you will take the mirror image of this means now the mirror image of this is nothing but like this this is the mirror image just replica of it and this direction will continue till the end till the end okay so this is not complete Nyquist plot this is just a half of the Nyquist plot what you have done <coughs> first the point is you have done the polar plot correct then you have done the double of polar plot and then we will do the we will cover the RH plane RH of S plane actually so according to the definition of R the fundamental thing of the Nike's plot now what it will do this is the platform over which the Nike's Baba is floating from my zero to this zero one is zero plus one is zero minus okay now what he will do the Nike's Baba he will check this entire RHS plane how it will check by torch isn't it will check whether you are getting any poles or zeros like this so what you have to do you will draw this infinite radius circle this is nothing but the infinity over we are talking about means the magnitude magnitude is infinity omega equal to zero so this infinite radius circle you will draw and it will start from the ending point of the plot and end or terminate at the starting point of the plot like this you will do. like this this is your complete complete Nike plot now now the thing is why I'm doing like this why I'm not doing the same thing in this side no not this side because Nike plot says that this is the RHS or the RH of the S plane analysis so we will consider the RH plane this is our point of study here from this area the Nike's Baba will look is there anybody over here if no enemies no one is this side so Nike's will, will conclude yes that system is stable or not okay wait a minute now still you people have confusion okay Achha hai, koi baat nahi. see this encirclement I have done by 180 degrees isn't it 180 degree I am doing this I am going to start from this and terminating here means 180 degree or in radian I am covering the pi so whenever you will get h to the power 1 
you will circle this this infinite radius circle once by pi radian isn't it instead of this if you will get s to the power 2 then the encirclement you will do by 2 pi means you will start your journey at here and again you will come over here like this you will cover 2 pi isn't it so instead of this if you have s to the power n it will be n pi this is nothing but encirclement of infinite radius this is very important point and the point says the poles at origin is nothing but or indicates the encirclement of the infinite radius by angle pi if you have two poles at origin the encirclement of the infinite radius will be double okay so the point is you know the this is the second point which is the most and the first point is this this is the plot ending point of the plot from the ending point the infinite radius will start this is the infinite radius starting point from this point it will start and it will terminate where the plot is going to start this is the starting point of the play, uh, plot and at this plot the this infinite radius encirclement will terminate and the plot will start okay now now i'll come to the question so the uh, things will be clear to you okay now one more thing where is the stability for the stability we'll check the encirclement of minus 1 plus j0 always isn't it because we have seen for the stability we'll check the encirclement we'll apply the formula and the formula is n equal to p plus minus z plus this p plus is clear now say me what is the p plus p plus is nothing but the poles of open loop transfer function in the rh plane this is nothing but poles of closed loop transfer function in the rh of s plane and this n is the encirclement an encirclement of what encirclement of pi minus 1 plus j0 the encirclement of this point later we'll discuss about the encirclement properly okay so the question is the open loop transfer function given open loop transfer function 10 divided by s plus 1 draw the nyquist plot and check the stability so you can do very well this all procedures we have already done in the polar plot so i can directly draw the plot isn't it so this is uh, no pole at origin simply so earlier we have seen the graph is like this the polar plot for this transfer function and though this is the nyquist plot what will happen i'll take the mirror image of this the mirror of this this is nothing but the nyquist so this is nyquist plot just replica of this just mirror image of this okay and the magnitude at omega equal to 0 will be 10 for this question and this is 0 now now this is the nyquist plot nyquist plot is over is there any circlement no encirclement no s to the power 0 term is there so whatever graph is there it will be as it is now the point is where is the minus 1 j0 over here minus 1 plus j0 is there any encirclement of this point any you know the random uh, plane or surface encircling this point no n equal to 0 what is our formula the formula is n equal to p plus minus z plus what is n value 0 what is p value mm, p p means open loop poles in the rh plane again for you i am writing open loop poles 
in RH of X plane. So, do you have any? No, this is 0 minus Z plus. So, Z plus is nothing but a 0. Z plus 0 means, means close loop poles in RH of S plane. So, so you have zero means you do not have any closed loopholes in the RH of S plane. So tell me about the system stability. System will be stable. Isn't it? Yes, are stable hai. Yeh bhi bata do. It will be hundred percent stable. Isn't it? Now let me take the another one. So this is the question. So please listen this carefully. Your doubts will be clear out and everything. This is the real Nike plot. In this question, the real Nike plot is. The question is same. We have to draw the NP and check the stability. Okay, check the stability now again. I'll not go into the procedure. Procedure you know very well. What is the procedure? You will find out the magnitude means polar plot. The procedure is you have to find out the polar plot only. In the last unit we have done this. I'm sorry. So you have to draw the polar plot. You know very well how to draw it. So see, see, last time again I'm telling you for the recalling. This was the polar plot for the transfer function like k divided by s plus 1 whatever. We have seen like this. Now we were adding the poles. So, so the ending direction were changing only. In this case, the plot will be, it will start from here only but it will, ending direction will move now by minus 90 degree. Isn't it? So this was the plot. Now, okay, for these two poles, the plot will be like this. Now you are adding two poles at origin. So a single pole at origin, the entire graph will be like, okay, let me change the color. If you, into this system, if you let single pole at origin, your system will be like this. Entire pole will shift by minus 90 degrees. But now it's, uh, you know, two times you are changing. Square you are having square. So your, your entire graph will be like this now. Okay. I hope you are getting me. So now directly I'll write. So here we are on the black screen. Okay. It's just like that. I'll change it. Don't worry. So for this, the graph is, for the graph, I'll take another color and that is this wow so this is graph isn't it it will start from this and it will terminate over here so this is exact polar plot and direction of polar plot is like this but you are looking for the Nyquist plot so just replica of this this is the replica mirror image of the first one now now you have Nyquist plot. Okay. Now what you are doing? Now we'll check the stability. The the plot is over. The Nyquist plot is over. Now now I'll check the stability. And for the stability, our formula is remain same. N equal to P plus minus Z plus. In this question, the P plus do you have any right hand poles? No. So 0 minus Z plus you do not have, you have to find out. And yes, we'll find out. Now, now we'll plot the, first we'll check the point. There is the minus 1 plus 0, zero. here I'm taking minus 1 plus J0. This is the point. I'll check the encirclement of this point. Okay. One, one more thing I'm forgetting. This is not the complete Nike plot. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Really so, sorry. See, two times 
encirclement will come, isn't it? Because s equal to 2. It means 2 pi encirclement I need. Okay, from where I will start? I will start from the point where the Nyquist plot is going to terminate. An infinite radius, 2 times pi pi, 2 pi. So from here I will start my journey, this infinite radius. If only you have single origin or single polar origin, up to here it will be. But you have two times, so it will go like this. Like this, like this, like this, like this, and it will terminate from the point where the Nike's plot started. I'm sorry about this, my diagram. Okay. So, this is complete Nike's plot. Now, now I'll find the stability. Is it clear to you people why this infinite radius 2 pi earlier we discussed about this? Okay. So, now we'll check the condition for minus 1 plus j0. So, I'll draw one line from the point minus 1 plus j0 to check the encirclement at this point. What is the direction? See, this is the direction. Here, this is the direction. Okay. The direction is not going to change. So, uh, so let's check encirclement. Here, yes, this point is cutting by clockwise. Clockwise means minus sign. So, this is first encirclement. Here, again it's cutting, again minus 1. This is the minus 1, 1 for the encirclement, 1 encirclement, minus for the direction. For the clockwise direction, you will take negative sign. For the, you know, uh, anti-clockwise, anti-clock, you will take positive sign. So, I have clockwise. So, how many encirclement you have? Total 2. One is this, one is this. So, this is minus 2. Okay. So, put over here, minus 2, 0, minus z plus. Okay. So, z plus is 2. What it means? It means you have two closed loop poles in RH plane. Two closed loop poles into RH plane. So, system is more than 100% unstable system. So, this is the procedure. Okay, we can check the system is stable or not stable. Okay, friends. So, please comment about this black screen. You like or not. Okay. So, let me take another problem and we will wind up this session. This is the question. I will draw the polar plot directly. S plus 10. If you have S plus 10, your graph will be like, your plot will be like this. But we are adding 3 poles at origin. So, entire this thing will separate. And it will come like this. It will come like this. This is your plot. Okay. And if you are looking for the Nikes, it will be like this. The direction will be same. Okay, now this is not the complete Nike plot. Come over here. How many encirclement you need? 3 pi. Means one full circlement and one is half. From where you will start your journey? From the end point. Here end point. Okay. So, in the end point your direction should be the encirclement direction should be clockwise only, always. This, this direction should be maintained, okay? So, you will not go to this side. If you will go this side, it will become anti-clockwise. So, this will be clockwise always. And don't worry, at last we will cover this RH plane. 
don't worry about that so this is pi this is single time don't come over here directly this is second time again you do not have to terminate because 2 pi is completed you have to complete 3 pi now you will terminate yourself the direction is like this the direction is same so this is your Nike's plot do you have any doubt about this? no so Nike's plot is over I will check the point stability minus 1 plus j0 here is the point ok so from this point let me draw the line so this this line is cutted by these two lines ok one is this one is this the upper one the lower one ok let me clear you otherwise you will confuse yourself this is like this ok so two points you are getting and the direction is clockwise here also clockwise here also clockwise minus one minus one for this question n is minus two the formula is n equal to p plus minus z plus n is minus two p you do not have minus z plus so z you are getting again two so this system is again a big unstable system unstable system okay the same thing you can check by the RH criteria check this system by the RH criteria the system will be 100% unstable system okay friends so this is about today's class in next class we will start the gate problems and we will see some more stability point points in the Nike plot okay we will meet in the next class till then take care and bye and remember one thing please comment about this black screen whether you like it or not okay okay friends bye